Hi my loves, welcome back to another video. I'm Kat and this is going to be a video on how to make a cover for this candle holder. This is an old candle holder that I don't really like that much and I'm going to cover it. It's going to be like 10, 10 centimetres or 4 inches square. I'm using this Bobbini 3mm braided cord and it's in Golden Natural. I just typed in eBay 3mm cord and this is what came up. I'm using an 8mm crochet hook or a L11. Make a slip knot. I'm really sorry about my nails as well, guys. I need to get them sorted out. If you're new here, please just like and subscribe to my video. I'd love to see you again. We are going to chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In, every, in the second chain from the hook and every stitch along we are going to single crochet one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. If it curls a little bit, don't worry about it. It will straighten out. Then you're going to chain one and turn. And you're basically going to repeat this until you have a square. But feel free to follow along with me. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Chain one and turn, do exactly the same thing, single crochet six, Turn our work and single crochet. Six again. Chain one and turn one, two, three, four, five, six. Chain one. And turn. One, two, three, four, five, six. Chain one. And turn one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so now we have a square. <clears throat> so we've done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rows. We have six stitches on all four sides, okay? So it's going to add up to 24. So what we're going to do is along this side, we are going to single crochet six, okay? So if you do it with me, one, two, three, 
two, three, four, five, and six. And that gives a nice neat edge on this side. See? All right. And we're gonna we're gonna do a little bit of pottery because we're gonna be working it upwards, okay? And this end here, just cut it a little bit. Um, and then we can kind of lay it down flat and it will be stitched in with the next row. So we're gonna find our six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so this is going to be, we're going to do another six. So we're going to go one, don't need to chain, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So there we go. So now we have three sides. We're going to do the next side, so the fourth side. Okay, so we're going to just do all along here. We're going to find our six stitches. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, and six. And now we're back at the start. We can slip stitch. That's lovely. What I'm gonna do is slip stitch into the first stitch here, back loop only, okay? So duh, pull through, and pull through that loop there. So then we're gonna go around in the back loop only. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. Okay, so you're going to do a little bit of pottery because this is looking a bit doily-ish. We're just going to carry on around this around these back loops. So you're going to go, you've done 24, so you're going to go one, two, three, whoops, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, <clears throat> 18, 
Twenty-three, twenty-four. And you're going to go one, two, three, four. And then if you want to, you can kind of keep <laughs> keep the keep that in there to kind of line it up. So you can go, oops, I don't know if you can see this. Two, three, oops. And just all the way around. I think we need about one more. One more row. <clears throat> Let me know in the comments if you like this stitch. I think it's really pretty and it looks really ropey. Sorry, not ropey. Ropey <clears throat> as in it looks rope-like. Which is cool and it's got a nice little sparkle. So where that we started is where is where we started? It's there. Okay. So you might need one more at the top.
have to say this material may be flammable obviously you're not going to put a flame near this it's just for the outside Now we've got to the top, I'm going to do a, there we go, still not happy with the red, you can see it through, so I'm just going to probably paint the whole thing white, <laughs> which is my solution to most problems. Right, this is looking very pretty, so we're going to just slip the rest of the stitches, so when you get back to the start, you're going to pop your hook through both like kind of underneath both of these and then pull it through pull it through this again and that's like one slip stitch and then you're going to just slip all the way it just gives you a nice finished edge oh my god <laughs> i'm so sorry about this let me know in the comments if you hate your you aren't getting tangled it's the bane of my life there we go okay Slip that, slip another one, slip another one, slip another one, slip another one. Pretty, and then slip another one, slip. And then you can see when you come back to the start. You will be able to see it. If you follow this project, then please let me know how yours how yours comes out. Obviously, you don't need to do it as a candle holder. You could just do it for a pot, a crochet pot. I think it would work well. So let me know in the comments if you use it for something different. I'd love to know. And then you can see it kind of goes like that on the edge. Whoops. I think that's where it was. Yeah. Okay. So <clears throat> now we can see. This. Excellent. And then all you want to do is just give that a little chop. Pull that through and what I would do is then just kind of loop that through here and then under like that and then I'm going to kind of like pull it through and then give it a chop it off. I just got really impatient and stuck stickers on the inside of the candle so it looks white so you can't see like any red through this but I would normally just paint it white I just did this for the video so imagine it painted white and I just put a beautiful lemon curd candle inside and it absolutely smells divine use it for pens you can use it for anything it's a little pot it's gorgeous and it's been revamped so i'm really happy with that 
let me know what you think in the comments and I will see you again next week.